Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just wanted to give an update of my second mine location and just the aftermath of the mini flood that I had recently. It was like a, about a, two weeks ago and it has gone away. There's no more flood, there's no more water or anything. Let's check out the sump pumps. All right, so as you guys can see here, here is one of the sump pumps, and uh, there's two in this basement here. And it looks like there is no water currently. Well, obviously, because it's not raining right now, and uh, it hasn't rained for the past couple days, so it looks like the probably the water level in this location has probably gone down. But mainly, the reason why it flooded, and only reason why it floods, basically, is because of the snow melting and the heavy rain that we had about a week or two ago, okay? So, should be good for the rest of the year. It only happens probably once or not not at all in the past time that I've been in this basement, okay? So, uh, let's check out the other sump pump to make sure there's no water. Okay, yeah, so here's the other sump pump. Yeah, no water or anything. And uh, seems to be good. No more flood, so we're good. Okay, so yeah, my friends. So the flood, no more flooding. We should be a-okay, and uh, I actually, I do need to get rid of these wooden frames as I believe they may be molding or rotting because they did get some water on them. So I'll get rid of these, and yeah, <laughs> I was supposed to give them away, but nobody offered to take them. So I'm just gonna chuck them or something somewhere. All right, what else, my friends? My secondary mining location here. I love this place, I love hanging around here. I have a bunch of projects that are going to be coming real soon. I, I do have a plan of having some test rigs. Okay, so test mining rigs. I'm going to I'm going to move these like i7 computers off and uh, maybe build some open air rigs for testing GPUs and uh, I do have a a plan or a project per se for doing uh, uh, testing mining softwares, doing com doing comparisons on profitability. Okay, so I want to do like nice hash versus Kudo Miner. All right, so I want to do that, and I'm I'm planning on putting them over here somewhere, and uh, yeah, I'll have two identical rigs, two identical GPUs, pretty much fighting each other versus nice hash and Kudo Miner. So that'll be. That'll be fun. That'll be interesting. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. There is another YouTuber that does it and his name is Not Your Normal Miner and I believe he is coming back into making videos right now. So I've seen him posting some videos so everyone go check him out, Not Your Normal Miner. Link to his YouTube channel right down below. I want everyone to subscribe to him and <laughs> uh, great guy. Really, really awesome guy. Wes. His name is Wes, Not Your Normal Miner. Okay, so link in the description. Okay guys, and what else? Uh, what else here? So recently you guys saw I got rid of my 12 GTX 1060 6 gigabyte cards. They are no longer here and they shipped out to Mike. So Mike, thanks for that if you're watching this. As well as, uh, let's see, what else do I got going on here? My box wall is getting smaller and smaller as I have been getting rid of old older GPUs. And uh, yeah, I still got all my motherboard boxes and uh, thermal take power supply boxes here. Even got, I still have a bunch of thermal take power supplies that I'm not even using. And uh, yeah, but I'll, I'll probably use these maybe in the future. As I see it, I've already had to use one, but I still got four more that I can still utilize. My other, my second like test bench area, I just have like a, a Fantex. A Fantex case here that I'm not using. It's an ATX case. It's really nice. Has these tempered glass panels on on each side. I just have sitting here. I'm not using it. I was planning on selling it actually, but maybe maybe one of my friends or buddies may want it. I can just give it to them for free. And uh, yeah, so this is just supposed to be another test bench area where I do. I guess uh, when I put windows on my mining rig or something, <laughs> you guys may have sold my videos previously back then, okay? And then my mining rigs, all of my, you know, my shelves here, my three plastic shelves that I got from Costco way back in the day, you guys may have saw my journey for my second mining location here. You know, it's, it's drastically changed since the past year, but this, this area here has generally stayed the same. Uh, so let's go through all of my mining rigs here that I have and currently have and just the plans for the future Okay, so let's go through 
let's start at the top corner here. So this is my 7x EVGA 1060 3 gigabyte rig, okay? And again, I'll say that again, 3 gigabyte cards. The reason why I have these cards and still do, I'm not going to sell them, is because these cards have Samsung memory. That's it. That's the big reason why. And these are the for the win for the win edition cards from EVGA. So these are really nice, really nice cards. They hash like better than some 1060 6 gigabyte cards. Actually, uh, from what I from what I've tested before, these these mine better than a lot of 1060s. And even though they're three gigabyte cards, they they mine like a boss. So I uh, I'm gonna keep these cards. I just I love them so much, and this rig just looks really good. Uh, in my opinion. So good, good rig, and it's mining Aeon at the moment. Good old Aeon. Look at that. I got the logos right here. Uh, this is their first logo, I believe, or second logo, and this is their third generation logo uh, now, which I have plastered on all of my all of my shelves here. You guys can see. I'm not sponsored by them in this video, but I might as well be. And uh, yeah, I got their logo pretty much everywhere on my on my mining my mining shelves here. Okay, so that's my 1060 3 gigabyte rig, seven of them. And next up, we got my six by EVGA P104 BIOS modded to eight gigabytes. Okay, and these are mining Ethereum. And yeah, this rig has always been mining Ethereum, obviously because. Uh, these are the mining specific cards, okay? So these have the GDDR5X memory, which is utilizing uh, just better memory timings to, to mine Ethereum, okay? So I'm able to achieve 42 mega hash uh, per card at about 125 watts. And of course, we're using an HP server power supply uh, from good old nerdgears.com. Not sponsored, but I'll show them anywhere I can. And I have a small. Uh, Corsair 450 watt just to power you know some of the risers and some of the uh, uh, the motherboard and SSD and stuff of course okay so 120 gig SSD so this is my other rig here which I got maybe a couple months ago actually just recently so pretty new okay so continuing and then here on the other corner uh, is an empty Veta V3D mining case okay this is a deluxe case and uh, I just have it sitting here just in case I build another rig here uh, obviously I don't have uh, any GPUs or anything to put on it yet uh, maybe though maybe possibly my 6x Radeon 7 rig is gonna go is gonna go here okay so that's that's a future plan uh, as I may have to get rid of my GPUs at my first mining location but that I'll talk about uh, in another video. Okay, so continuing, I have my 8x RX 480 rig here. Beautiful rig I got from nerdgears.com. I got the frame and fans from Amazon, uh, but I got the GPUs from nerdgears as well as the HP server power supply. And I got the Azeroc BTC Plus Pro motherboard and a smaller 450 watt uh, power supply to power the motherboard. Uh, but yeah, this rig, you know, these cards, I love them so much. Even though they're RX 480s, they're like, you know, really old generation, like three or four years old now. But these mine Ethereum like a boss, okay? RX 480s, eight gigabytes with Samsung memory. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. I love this rig. I'm going to keep it forever, probably just mine till they die kind of thing, okay? So really good rig on an eight GPU Veta frame. All right, continuing. I used to have my 1060s here, you guys know that recently, so these are gone and empty right now. Hope to fill them with something. I do want 1660s or 1660 Ti's or 1660 Supers. Uh, whatever kind of deal I can get them on, I'm, I'm looking out for a good deal. Or maybe RTX 2060 Supers or 2070 Supers, what have you. So I, I'm looking out for a good deal, so I'll keep you guys updated. Nothing on here right now. The bottom row here, I just have another mining frame with nothing on it. I have a couple extra motherboards, of course. <laughs> always planning new GPU rigs so nothing nothing yet it's just empty and continuing continuing on in the bottom middle here another empty frame I used to have 1060s on but I sold those cards a while back so this is just empty for now and finally I have the single Radeon 7 my beautiful single Radeon 7 and as you guys know, I'm keeping the profitability for this for this rig right here. It's been going really well. And of course, as the altcoin market is going up, 
I've huddled all the profits for this rig and I feel like I'm going to break even real soon, okay? So I'll keep you guys updated. I, keep, I, do, I do a video on this rig every month, the end of every month or the beginning of every month. I'll keep you guys updated on this rig. It's doing really well. It's just running on, you know, single Radeon 7, of course, with a 650 watt EVGA power supply. Oh yeah, so here's the first Aeon logo that they've ever made. This is the first Aeon logo and here's their second iteration logo and then now they're on their third logo here which i really like it's like the black style so really cool and uh yeah and it's just running on a single itx motherboard with a 3570k cpu and uh, you guys can probably see the copper heatsink there it's pretty cool old school it's a zalman cooler and i got two noctua industrial ppc fans pointing at the Radeon 7 because as you guys know the Radeon 7 is really hot okay gets really hot when mining mining ethereum at 90 mega hash okay so 90 mega hash at about 170 watts okay. pretty good card 170 watts in software but at the wall it says 220 okay plus another 50 watts which was about 280 watts for the total uh, total system okay so there we go my friends that's the all my GPUs that I have running right now, my second mine location, and I'll show you guys the temperatures as well. We're at about 81 Fahrenheit, and also maybe the power consumption, you guys are wondering, we're at about, uh, let's see, eight amps on the left bank and five amps on the right bank. So total, we're at about 13 amps, okay? Utilizing 13 amps, but this whole uh, 240 volt, 30 amp PDU, uh, which can go up to about 24 amps safely. Okay, you don't want to go past 24 amps. Uh, so yeah, I still have a lot of headroom. I can still add another, I can add another 11 amps of GPU mining utilization on this whole mining area here, okay? So yeah, that's, that's it my friends. That's the update for my second mine location. And uh, that's just another PC there I have just to do some streaming or video editing or gaming. That's my old i7. 4790k yeah 4790k that's right oh that's a tongue twister but yeah okay that's it my friends i'll see you in the next video let me know what you think of my second mine location oh i have another box wall there nice presentation thing for videos so thank you for watching i appreciate all of you i'll see you in the next video have a good one my friends and peace out